We're gonna start the Lahiva guard here, okay? Dom is gonna control uh, my leg. I can work with this, uh, with this technique different ways here. Uh, even if it's controlling with different grips on the Lahiva. Sometimes grab your pants, sometimes grab your hamstring all the way like this. Sometimes the ankle like this, sometimes under hooking the leg, okay? You can work on all of those grips, all right? Uh, sometimes you're putting a controller collar right here. It's always good to break the grip, okay? Uh, before you break the grip, it's always important to make sure you open and deal with the Delahiva hook first, okay? Because sometimes, like, when you with the Delahiva hook and, like, try to break the grip, it's going to start elevating it or bring it to the side, okay? So make sure you deal with the Delahiva hook first and then you break the grip okay? and then you're back here. Of course, it's going to re-grip. It's going to make the grip again. Right, but because you broke the grip and you already take an action, it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to deal uh, with the grip. And in the between that, that's when you're gonna start like using your passes. There's different ways for me to pass in the Evil Guard. Okay, so I can use leg drags, knee cuts, right, stack pass. Uh, this one is something that I started working uh, recently, and I believe this is gonna help you. Okay, uh, one thing that I like to do when the person is playing the Evil. I like to sit them up, okay? So I grab the collar, even if he's grabbing my collar here, okay, I like to make sure I sit him, okay, just like that. Also, when, the, when he's playing the lahiva here, there's different ways for him to work with this leg, okay? He can bring the leg on my hip, on my thigh or here, right, or inside my leg like that, okay? Um, of course, like if I'm on top of his frame, okay, it's gonna be a um, little bit harder for me, okay? even though I like, step over his, his foot. So his foot right here is the first uh, contact, right? So I would say this is the first frame, okay? So he's gonna pose the foot on you. So once you beat his foot, then it's gonna be his shin, okay? And after the shin, I need to beat his thigh. Okay, once I beat the thigh, so I'm really close to connect my passes right here. Okay, that's where I wanna be, right? So a lot of times when people are playing the lahiva, so we we step like this, okay, which is good, right? But I still on top of his frame, so Dom can elevate me here and start working to create scrambles or go for uh, uh, X guard and different kind of guards. Right after I post my hands on the floor, as I put his leg between my legs. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best to make sure that he doesn't put the leg inside, and also I'm not gonna step over like this okay so i'm gonna maintain his foot outside if you pose the foot on my thigh right here like this okay i need to turn my knee as always we, we learned here before step out and then keep his leg out like this okay so once i put his foot out now he's gonna work with the shin okay because this is the second contact right i would say the second frame first is the foot second is the shin so now what i'm gonna do here I'm gonna control with my knuckles holding his pants, okay? And then the other hand, I'm gonna control the collar, okay? Go back. Uh, one way that I can do to break his grip here, especially the hip hook, even like if I already control the collar, right? Because the hand on the collar will give me some stability, okay? So when I'm here, he can like shake me more. But when I grab the collar, I have more stability, but I need to stiff my leg, see? I stick this leg here and, and extend my leg actually like this and I turn my toes a little bit outward, okay? And at the same time I'm doing this, I'm gonna start like sitting him up like that. So I'm gonna bring him up, okay? With my hand on the collar and I'll push this leg down like this. So at the same time, I'm gonna step my leg out and then I'm gonna put my frame, okay? My shin on top of the shin like this, okay? So now I'm very close uh, to my opponent, very close to get my chest on his chest, okay? Of course, when I get here, he's gonna try to push, he's gonna try to escape the hips, he's gonna try to reset the guard. There's different things that I can do here, okay? A lot of variations after this. But the most important right now is to use my shin in the front of my arm, not behind my arm here, okay? In the front of my, my forearm here, and then I'll put my knee on the floor. Um, I was practicing this technique uh, during the sparring before and I tried to go like this and I feel like I get off balance. 
Okay? So I like to go more like this, try to bring your foot back. And then I go here. So just extend your arm and bring his foot towards the mat. And at the same time, of course, pull him up. Naturally, when I pull him up, when I sit him up, his feet are gonna go towards the floor. Okay? Very, very natural movement right here. Okay, and then I get here. So once I get here, look, make your best to be on top of his thigh as well. Okay? So once I get here, okay, Dom is gonna try to push me. Like sometimes he's gonna keep the hand on the collar, sometimes he's gonna pose just like he did, right? Let's say he keep the hand on the collar. Okay, he's just gonna frame and start pushing away. So keep holding the collar. You change your hand to the to the tricep right here, and then you're gonna step this leg behind his, his back and pinch him easier. Okay, just like that. Okay, so of course Dom is gonna try to play guard right now. So my my uh, leg behind his back is gonna be like a wall, right? Now letting him like put his back on the floor. Okay. Right here, he's gonna try to face me, escaping the hips outside. In the meantime, I'm gonna start going for a nice knee cut, okay? So once I get the knee cut, make sure you park the car. I call this like parking the car, right? I cannot like square it up like this, okay? Because then he's gonna recover the guard. Once you get the knee cut right here, you need to go back with your hip against his hip. Okay, and even like force him to give the back to you. So your hip flexor needs to be in touch with this hip flexor always, okay? It's better making my opponent face away from me, because that way I can attack his back, than having him like facing towards me like this. So then he can start fighting, he can start underhooking the arms, he can start uh, playing guard right here, okay? So when you pass, you always go back with your hip right away. So that's the first one we're gonna do here. So I'm here. I can break the grip here, right? Of course, dealing with the double hip hook first. Breaking the grip, reset my grip. He's gonna reset his grip. This leg is gonna be my, my balance here. I gotta do my best to not let him have a really good double hip hook. Put the hip again up. You see, like for beginners, if I turn my, my knee inward, he's gonna have a really strong double hip hook. So I need to always keep my knee out. I like to, to do this on the double hip hook. I like to split his legs, we call this split pass. I like to be between his knees here. So my rib is gonna touch his inner thigh, okay? And my shin here is gonna touch his inner thigh as well. So I'm gonna spread his legs like this. So it's very hard for him to play guard when you do that, okay? The opponent will feel more comfortable if you're away from, from uh, between his legs, between the thighs. At the moment that you're here, so he has a little bit more of a hard time, okay? so. I gotta do that, of course, he's gonna work his best to make this frame here. Okay, start fighting with me, no, he's gonna start fighting, I push, then I get here. He's gonna try to fight right here, I'm gonna grab, and then I go here, pinch my knees, okay? When Dom start trying to face to me, try to, I'm gonna start getting knee cut. Once I get knee cut, park the car, and be ready to attack his back, if you turn, right? And remember, when you attack the back, always place his knee on top of his, hip before he turtle, because then you can take a ride right here. So he's gonna turtle, I'm gonna be always with my opponent uh, between my legs, okay? So if I pass, knee cut, and then I park the car, and I keep my knee on the floor, if my knees are on the floor, I must have this elbow here on top of his hip, because that way you make him slow. It's gonna slow down him, and then I'm gonna have time to place my knee there, and then I can Take the right and get the hooks to take his back, okay? The knee cut is an option, okay? Right here. So I'm here, he's gonna have a hook. Control, he's gonna try to move you, try to push my leg though. He's gonna try, push, try to underhook my leg with this leg. But don't let that happen, so I go here, okay? And I go here, okay? And why I sit up like this? Because he kept the elbow on the floor. Why I stand up, actually? Why I stand up? Because he, he kept the elbow on the floor. If you keep his back on the floor, like this, of course I can start hugging him and start getting straight to mount. But also when you go straight to mount here, because this arm is it's right here, right? He can start playing deep half 
as I mount him. You can underhook my leg and start playing like this. Okay? So normally, because you sit him up, he's gonna feel like, oh, he's gonna go to mount. He's gonna try to put the elbow on the floor and push you away. That's when you're gonna slow. And, you know, there's a different ways that I use this pole to pass the guard from my opponent. I say sometimes I'm passing the guard, I grab his sleeve here. Sometimes I go, I go like this to pass his guard. It's like a throw by using the arm. And then you make it like really hard for your opponent, right? A lot of times your opponent sit up like this, you grab it and start pulling him like this. Okay, that works as well. Okay, he's not expecting that. He's not expecting you to push him back to the floor. Okay, but when you grab and then you can like, bring him to you, you make him think like differently and then he's gonna be like confused, okay? So, when I, when I get on this position here, okay, like this, right? I couldn't control and then I surprise my opponent doing this, okay? So make sure you pinch the knees. Oh, professor, you know, like, I can't get the knee cut. Of course, you can attack the arm bar here, right? If you attack the arm bar, don't let go the tricep to grab here the wrist, okay? Keep the tricep grip, let go the collar and go here, okay? So he's gonna put his back on the floor again, he's trying to play guard, I go like this. Boom, it's kinda like a mini fly arm bar, you know, like, just like going straight to the arm, okay? And don't worry about this hook here. The good, uh, the good thing of this hook here is in case of your opponent turtle to come up to try to escape from the arm bar, you can take this leg out and start attacking his back, okay? So don't need to take that hook out. I actually like that hook between his leg. Just in case he tried to sit up and come up, you just go straight to his back. Remember, the person bottom, the person bottom is always working to play guard. Right? So when I push his leg to the floor, he's not extending his leg like this. He's not gonna allow his leg be like that, okay? So he's gonna fight to bring his knee back, okay? So when I push, I push with my knuckles on his shin, and pretty much I bring his heel towards his butt, and at the same time, I'm, I'm sitting him up here. That's, that's, how, that's how I'm gonna do it, okay? So if you're on bottom, <coughs> you face your knee outward like this, okay? You're not gonna feel really comfortable to play the Lahibo guard, okay, if you do that. It's gonna be harder for you to push, it's gonna be hard for you to work with your frames, right? So usually the leg is more like facing this way, because he wants to run this way here to attack my back, okay? And even to sit up as well, okay? Yeah. So make sure when you're on bottom here, don't don't just simply like let your leg be numb, you know, and then numb and, and, and just extend your leg like this, because that won't work. And when you staple, don't staple the, the, sh the thigh, go on the shin, okay? So you here, go like this, all right? If I could do um, straight, like right here, straight from here, that would be great, okay? But because his leg is still here, like he can do something right so i need to make sure i defeat this egg first that's why i use this tape okay all right one two three the detail here when i'm pushing down with the leg and pull him up with the collar okay um, i cannot do this like straight okay so i cannot do the, like this okay so i need to go a little bit sideways so i step a little bit this way Okay, but at the same time, I need to make sure I have the De La Riva hook out. I cannot do that if he has the De La Riva hook, of course. Then he's gonna go for deep De La Riva, right? But once I, I take the De La Riva hook out, that's when I, I go, you see that his knee face inward, okay, inside. Now I'm here. Like, let's say if uh, Dom uh, put his back on the floor before 
I go for for like the stand up right before I stand up, right? When that happens, I can start immediately bringing my knee this way. And one concept that I want to uh, teach you here: you need to be in the front of the opponent's thigh, okay? Either with your your hip, like sitting like this, okay, or with your body, right here. Because once you pat, look, even like I'm not on his chest, there's no longer guard here. So when I understand that, it's easier for me to pass the guard because now when you try to bring the knees to the chest, he's gonna bring me close to his chest. You see, and that's what he's gonna do. So you need to understand that, like when I do, uh, when I work a leg drag uh, or any guard pass, my goal is to get here first. Okay, that's why the leg drag is super strong. This is not a good leg drag because I'm on top of his shin, okay? Every time that his shin is touching me, my chest, my, my uh, butt, right? My thigh, he's doing good. Or reverse La Hiva, he works with the shin here and with the shin here. So I need to start beating up the shins, right? And then now I'm on top of the thigh only. And that's when I start having a good knee cut, okay? So same thing like on one leg X, for example. I'm using this a lot lately, uh, a lot lately. I'm using this a lot, uh, no gi. So I clean here and I just start sitting on their thigh here. So even like I spread my legs like this, I have a good balance here and I control both legs. He can probably like go try to go for deep half or try to push me back here, right? It's not, so I, got, I start like mount on my opponent here or even like, go another leg. Mm -hmm. Or even like sometimes I go all the way around like this and start going to his back. I need to understand that I need to put my butt here, okay? Actually, my, my whole body. Imagine like this is a this is a fence, right? So his his thigh it's a fence where I need to hop over to invade his territory, right? So if I'm here. I'm behind the fence, right? So at the moment that I pass that fence, now everything is so clear, so easy for me. I just need to be careful with his shin, right? And his feet, the feet, right? So he's gonna try to push with his foot like this, right? So I need to always avoid foot and shin on me, okay? So we're gonna keep practicing this, but I want you to use that after a sweep, okay? We're gonna sweep our opponent, we're gonna come up, stand up, opponent play, play, uh, play the De La Hiva guard, and then you're gonna work on this. So as you put the De La Hiva guard, I make sure I open the De La Hiva, hook, step, and then I go, okay? And uh, Teteo likes to play one leg X. He said, oh, Professor, what about if I try? I thought, like he said, I thought I could bring the other leg to play the X guard. Bring the other leg around here, this one? Yeah. Like this. Of course, if you put his back on the floor, see, put his back on the floor. Put your back on the floor, there you go. Here, easy, right? That's why I need to put my, my knee here, okay? So now it's super hard for me to put it back on the floor. So I have that arm. Sometimes if you let go of my pants, I have this feeling as I go my pants, I can go for a nice triangle. <laughs> right? like, Whoa, just like Ronaldo did the pants, yeah. right? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So when you go the triangle here, of course you need to roll a little bit more like like this to get the, the triangle tight. Okay, so you can do that a little. But for the triangle, I suggest you to not let go of any of the grips. Keep the tricep and collar. And then if you feel he's letting go of your leg, so just go for it. Step over and go. You have the knee cut, right? And then you have the arm bar too, okay? Just play around with that, all right? And at any time you can work on that, all right? You can always, let's say if I'm doing like a simple knee cut like this, right? If I pull my opponent like this, he's gonna get confused and it's hard for, me, for him to work. And right here I have time to, to attack him, all right? See that? So I'm going here, let's say his shin is bothering me here, I'm just gonna, grab the tricep, grab the collar, and then I just sit him up, right? And then I start working to pass, okay? All right, sweep, and then work on the technique. Let's go one, two, three.